Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're gonna talk about how to enable the new taskbar inside the latest build for the beta channel which is the build 22635.3930 or version 23H2 on the beta channel so keep that in mind. But in this build Microsoft added quite a few new interesting improvements to the taskbar. In this video alongside showing you how to manually enable them I'm gonna show you how you can use them and everything that is new. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to enable the new taskbar, we're gonna have to set up a small little app that will allow us to enable all the features that Microsoft is currently testing behind the scenes and they are not enabled for all the users. So we're gonna have Vive Tool in the article below in the video description. You can get it from there and just make sure to get the latest version. .zip. Once you got it, open it up using File Explorer and then click on Extract All. Click on Browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder, for example, in Local Disk C. I have here a folder created hidden features. I'm gonna select this folder, click on extract, I'm going to have to replace the files in my case because I already extracted Vive tool there. Now we're just going to copy this location because we're going to need it whenever we will run the commands. Now open up the search box, type in here CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. Here you're going to have to type in CD and then paste the location so that we're moved to that location where we extracted Vive tool. And now what we have to do is to run a few commands that will enable all the features one by one. First of all, we're going to enable a command just to make sure because this is an ID in a command that is required for all these new features. So you're going to have to type in Vive tool slash enable slash ID 48433719 and then press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. All these commands will be in the article below and also a huge shout out to Phantom Machine 3 for discovering the commands and also the IDs for these features. You're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below. So go ahead and follow him if you want to see more hidden features like these and how to enable them. Now the next command Vive tool slash enable slash ID 4687 or 415 and then press enter and yet again you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration this is the command and id that enables the new settings and the new ability to use the shortened time and date inside the system tray in the right side but don't worry i'm going to show you an in-depth overview of that after we enable all the commands and all the features now vive tool slash enable slash id 29532725 and then press enter this command will enable the new test for thumbnails that microsoft is currently testing so enable this if you want to have that now for the devices that have the new windows Studio Effects AI feature, you can enable this command, vive tool slash enable slash ID 4610 7637 comma 4879 9383 and then press enter. This will enable the new Windows Studio Effects that we're going to talk about in just a minute. And finally, to enable the new task or jump lists, type in vive tool slash enable slash ID 4898 and then press enter. And after all the commands, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Don't forget that all the commands are in the article below, labeled, so you can just copy and paste them from there if you want to do so. Now you can close the CMD and make sure you restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, let's now check the new features. So for example, related to the new shortened time and date, as you can see, we now have it enabled, the shortened time and date. You can right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings and you're going to have here related settings. And you have two sections, date and time, and also notifications and actions. If you go to date and time, you're going to have here the option show time and date in the system tray. You can expand it and you have two options, show abbreviated time and date and also show seconds in the system tray clock uses more power. So if you have the show abbreviated time and date enabled, you're going to see that the time and date will be shortened really easily. And if you want to have the time and date even shorter, you can also disable the seconds in the system tray. And as you can see, this is really, really minimized right now. Now, if we go again to taskbar settings and to related settings, we also have here notifications and actions. And here, if you expand notifications, you're going to have this new option, show notification bell icon, which also is a thing from the system tray and you can enable it or disable it. This only serves the purpose purpose of showing you how many notifications you currently have. So if you don't want to have that, you can just disable it from here. The difference from previous builds is that Microsoft moved these settings from the taskbar behavior section to their respective categories. So for example, time and date and also notifications. Let's now check out the new taskbar thumbnails. So if we open up here multiple windows and multiple apps, maybe you're going to notice these new animations for the taskbar thumbnails that have bigger thumbnails, in my opinion, and also a nice close button. Also, the experience is different from using the never combined taskbar icons to the combined taskbar icons. So as you can see, this is the experience for the never combined. You get the all the previews and also the full name of each opened window. If we open up the taskbar settings and then go to taskbar behaviors and near combined taskbar buttons and hide labels, we select always. You're gonna see that we have an icon combined that will open both of these again. And I think that is pretty interesting. And also if you have multiple tabs opened a window, it will show you in the title bar of that certain thumbnail. Also, if your device
device supports the new Windows Studio FX, you're gonna see an icon in the taskbar. You can use it inside the calls and so on with its AI features. I think that is pretty interesting. If you wanna check out more info about the new Windows Studio FX, you can check out the official Microsoft blog post for this certain build. And finally, the last thing that Microsoft is testing related to the taskbar is the jump list on hover. So if you hover over an app that is opened or unopened in the taskbar, we're gonna get the new jump lists. Of course, this is currently something that is being tested behind the scenes. It's not yet officially announced by Microsoft, but it's pretty interesting. Of course, one thing that I would like Microsoft to work on is delaying the hover a bit because as you can see, I'm hovering over it and it instantly opens the jump list. Maybe it will be nice if you could wait two or three seconds until the jump list open. But of course, you can always right click on that certain app to get the jump list. So I think that is pretty interesting. And also, if you right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings, we're going to have an option for this inside taskbar behaviors. We have this new thing, show hover cards for inactive and pinned taskbar apps. So if we uncheck this, we will no longer have the jump list open on hover. I think that is pretty interesting. So these are pretty much all the hidden and new features that Microsoft announced related to the taskbar inside the latest build for the beta channel. Pay attention, this only works on the beta channel, so don't try to enable it on the main release or Canary and Dev, only on the beta channel, the latest build, which is 22635.3930. So just go and check out the article below for Vive tool and all the commands used in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.